Today we're going to go over how to set up your file for die cutting using Adobe Illustrator CS3. Now I have a sticker here that we're going to be doing, but this procedure is going to be the same for any die cut product, be that stickers, postcards, business cards, any of that will all be the same setup. Now we see we have our sticker with a black outline here, and this outline is what I want to actually be the cut path. We don't want to print that, we want to just go ahead and die cut out in that shape. So I'm going to go ahead and select that path and find it over in my layers. And now that I have that, I'm actually going to move that onto a separate layer just to isolate it from the rest of the artwork so that we can turn it on and off and we see that that is distinct from the artwork. Now we can go ahead and once again select the path and we want to create a new swatch for this stroke and I'm going to make it just a an obnoxious color that way we know that it's definitely not going to print and it's easier to see. We'll create a new swatch and we'll name this dye line and set it to be a spot color and apply it. So now we have the dye line set to this spot color on a separate layer and we can go ahead and just save this out now. So we go to save as and we're going to save an Adobe PDF and then for this project and most things you can save out of Illustrator just use the defaults for the PDF dialogs and that will put all of the bleeds and marks in there for you. If you are in Illustrator CS4 in document setup here there will actually be a setting for bleeds as well which you can set to an eighth inch. So we have that saved out now and we can go ahead and now open it in Acrobat just to make sure that everything looks the way it should. And that looks good. We've got our green dye line all over here which is set to a spot color. And now your file should be all set up and ready to go.